Happening today, the man accused of stabbing 15-year-old Alicia Renaga after at her actual high school in Stockton is due to be in court today at 1.30. Police say 52-year-old Anthony Gray will be officially charged with murder. A rain this afternoon, ABC 10 will be there as it happens. Police believe the deadly stabbing was random. Investigators say he drove through an open gate at Stagg High School on Monday, stabbing Renaga multiple times. She later died at the hospital. A massive memorial outside the school continues to grow. A lot of people are asking questions about security at the school. What's being done to keep the kids safe in Stockton in the wake of what happened? ABC 10's Lena Howland is there outside Stag High. Uh, Lena, are parents going to notice any changes, any beefed up security as they approach the school today? Yeah, that's right. Well, parents will notice those changes as soon as they get to the this school today when they start dropping off their students and they I'm notice they're not allowed on school property uh, right now. I'm going to step out of the shot to show you a little bit of the roadside memorial that is set up for that 15 year old girl who was stabbed and killed here on Monday. It's now only been two days since that tragedy happened here at Stag High School and school officials tell us they are already making changes to security to protect both students and staff. The Stockton Unified School District said that they have increased security not only here at Stag High School, which was doubled yesterday, but they have increased security at all of their schools and they've also increased the number of counselors on hand. Yesterday, the front gate to the school, which is usually open, was closed. Instead, a school security met with each person driving a vehicle to find out why they were here. If picking up students, they had to wait for their students to come to them, something many parents told us they'd like to see become permanent. I would suggest it be closed from now on, like just just for the kids' safety. I don't mind. I think it's safe, to, um, safe for our kids. Still, a nationally renowned security expert we spoke to says the massive fencing you see around Stag High School here goes above and beyond what other schools around the country do, adding an extra layer of security. Now, a source within the school told me a campus security monitor person is usually at the front gate watching who comes in and who comes out. However, I'm told that person retired two weeks ago and it has been vacant ever since up until that stabbing happened on Monday afternoon. Back to you, Walt. You know, Lena, I was I was uh, on the grounds of Kennedy High School yesterday in, in Sacramento, and even when I'm at, mm -hmm. let's say, McClatchy High School, there's usually somebody driving around in a golf cart. So school security is usually pretty good, mm -hmm. and you mentioned that at Stag High that the security officer had retired two weeks ago. Um, we're told that that position has now been filled since what happened, right? Uh, at, at this point in time, we are seeing that there are security guards manning this front gate. They were there all day yesterday, and they're expected to be out there today. We don't know if that position has been permanently filled or not, but it does appear as though somebody uh, has taken that spot for right now. Yeah, I, I would think that that's a, a pretty high priority. I would think the parents would insist on that at this yeah. point. Lena Howland, Stag High School. Lena, thank you.